Matt Pierce, creative director and chief photographer for Route 3 Productions in Corpus Christi, Texas. This is the Art of the Image podcast, where it's kind of a discussion, a master class, an idea, if you will, about photography and the art of the image and being able to capture through whatever genre, whether it's a wedding or a multi-million dollar ad campaign or just a family photo shoot. We're discussing capturing the art of the image. That's what this podcast is all about. And I'm going to share some of our insights, thoughts, and the creative process with you right here on this podcast. Stick around. I'm Matt Pierce. It seems like this has been a long time in the making a podcast. You know how, how unoriginal nowadays is a podcast? You remember just 10 years ago, a podcast was so unoriginal. And, and now we're diving into this world of podcasting and, and using it to connect with audiences, clients, just people in general all around the world used to uh, getting the message out over radio or over the air as we used to call it was incredibly expensive and and now it's within reach of everybody no matter where you're at and and that that's the beauty of of where we've come with technology i think being able to to wrap this whole thing up all into one and connect with people like never before And, and if there's one thing you know maybe there's a silver lining in the pandemic is it's taught us how to connect better than we've ever connected before. And I I think that's just the beauty of it all, right? I'm Matt Pierce. I am the creative director and chief photographer for Route 3 Productions, uh, a company based in Corpus Christi, Texas. And we serve San Antonio and all of South Texas with expert photography in image-related services. Now, a lot of people ask me, what in the world are you talking about? Well, it's true. We, we do photography, right? Photography is at the heart of everything that we do. Uh, my wife, Kelly, actually owns the company, and I work now for Kelly, which is strange to, to, to say that, that I work with my wife and my best friend because she's such an incredible talent. She's an incredible human being. She works with people. She loves people. She has this way about her where she can deal with people masterfully. People love being around Kelly. I can't say that they say the same thing about me. <laughs> but <laughs> most people can't. Uh, you know, because because oftentimes I'm stuck in this world where where I, I'm trying to be the kind of consultant, the creative, right? And, and so a lot of times I feel like people connect better with Kelly, and she is a master at lifestyle photography. She loves lifestyle photography. She loves the art of it. She loves the classic history of it. She loves dealing with people. I'm probably much more the demanding creative of the two. And that's why I think we make such a dynamic team is Kelly is able to use her people skills and and her analytical skills that she's learned in the financial sector and in college studying economics. She's able to use all that to really create a well-rounded project on her own. And then together, you know, we say on our website that we're better together. Uh, It's true. Because when you collaborate, and that's what we do here at Route 3 Productions, is we collaborate with individuals. We collaborate with clients. We can can collaborate. That's a big word for me this morning. To collaborate with everyone along the chain to create an end product that is absolutely ideal for whatever they're looking for. 
And that's the art of the image. That's what we're going to get into this morning. The art of the image. And really choosing a direction. Choosing a story. Choosing which way this thing is going to go, right? You have to be able to connect with a project on an emotional level. You have to feel like it offers something to the audience that's worthy of their attention, worthy of their time, and their money. You know, that's what we're asking for, is to capture the audience's attention for a moment, for just a minute. And, and that's, that, that. frankly, that's not something that's easy to do, is you're asking somebody to spend their hard-earned money with you, you're asking for their attention for an hour, two hours, 25 hours, depending on the project, you're asking for their time, you're asking for their attention, you're asking for their input, and most of all, you're asking for their money. You'd better be able to deliver on that, okay? Nothing frustrates a client more than expecting they're going to get these beautiful photographs and they spend a couple of hundred bucks on a photographer and end up with JPEGs that are horribly edited. They're not what they thought they were going to get. There's nothing worse than getting some overly photoshopped images that totally miss the mark. That is going to frustrate a client all day, every day. Not saying that there's not some great photographers out there, because I know when we first started this business, it was really hard to ask people for their money and their attention and their time. But then as we kind of grew, you know, I realized we had to ask people for that because we were offering them a service and we were offering them a very quality service using very, very good equipment, getting the top-notch continuing education, putting together the components to really create a masterful work of art. So you have to be able to connect with a project on an emotional level. What does that, that project make you feel? We're at the point now to where we can be a little more selective about what projects we take. We don't take on everything that walks through the door. We can be selective about what we take. First off, we listen to the client, the potential client at this point, right? Maybe the potential client has this idea for a wedding, right? And they have a beautiful wedding and a beautiful venue. We listen to them. We, we know what they want. They want lasting memories. They're going to look great on paper, digital, framed. They want those memories, right? We listen to them. Do they want some outside shots? Do they want some inside shots? There's a thousand different parameters that go into this. And we listen to that. And we help create a package around what they are looking for. Okay. Now, if it's something that you're not feeling <laughs> and you're not emotionally connected with that project, you're not going to do your best work. You're just going to go out there and you're going to take some photos and they're going to look okay probably, but it's going to leave your client at the end of the day asking the question, did I really do my best? Is this really what I paid for? Well, that's not what you want to deliver because, first off, you're probably not going to be in business very long. Second off, you want to deliver exactly what your customer needs. We're working a project right now for a company or organization that is trying to market tourism, travel and tourism. At first, there was really good communication there. Then they brought in a new person who's incredibly busy and the communication breaks down, right? So now we're left on our own, it almost feels like. And that's okay. At first, we were emotionally connected with the project. There was good communication. And now that that communication has fallen kind of by the wayside because 
the new person is so incredibly busy, uh, we begin to withdraw a little bit emotionally from the project, okay? It's my job as a creative director to make sure that we stay emotionally involved and the communication line is maintained there. So that way we can still deliver the end result with the proper message, okay? So as a creative director, I have to be somewhat emotionally involved with the project and with making that connection. Because we're asking them for their time, their money, and their attention, and we're competing through the editorial process and through the, the commercial process with other people and with other organizations who are saying, hey, visit here, stay here, whatever the case may be, right? So we are, by default, asking, we are asking other people to spend their money with this client. How we help convey that message is vital, okay? Through lighting, through uh, the equipment that we use, through the settings, through the types of talent that we bring in for the photo shoots. That's incredibly important. Important. So a lot goes into this as we compete for the attention, the time, and the money of the client. Freshness is key. Okay? If it's not presented in a way that feels fresh, then people are immediately going to downgrade your work. Okay? Again, whether it's family photo shoots or whether it's a multi-million dollar ad campaign that we could work on, freshness is key. You're, people, are, If it doesn't feel fresh, if it doesn't feel modern, if it doesn't feel new, people are going to downgrade that. They're going to look at that and think, ah, I've seen that before. That's not the impression that you want to leave with people. Is that I've seen this before. Okay? Same way with a website. Same way with a logo. Same way with anything. I'm just popping things around here this morning. Same way with anything that you're working on. You want to be able to convey that in a fresh, new way. Okay? It really is that simple. I mean, it's really not that complicated. It really is that simple at the heart of it. At, at, at the reality, at the heart of it, it's really that simple. Being able to present those messages. How do you do that? How do you present that message? Well, that's not always easy either. I mean, because, again, I'm a creative director. I'm a director. I'm a producer. I need to be able to identify my audience. I need to know, where is this ad going? Who is this ad talking to? Who is this picture going to be for? Who is this wedding of? What is their culture? What is the mindset of the bride and the groom and the family? What is this family looking for in these photo shoots? What are they wanting to capture? What are they wanting to... What do they envision... The end result will be. Well, that's where you just have to shut up and listen. Okay? And throughout the whole process, as we have the pre-pro call, as we have the introduction call, as we, we have all these discussions, and it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. I mean, it's a few minutes here, a few minutes there. A lot of times, sometimes... The deeper the project, the more involved the conversations become, right? Obviously, the more money that's being spent, the more time involved, the more the, the more detailed the conversations are going to get each and every time, okay? Those conversations allow me, as a creative director, or, or allow Kelly, the ability to... Create something that's fresh, something that's new. I'll give you an example, and it stretches across several different genres. 
of art, okay, and creativity. Let's take Larry McMurtry and Lonesome Dove in the Streets of Laredo, right? Classic novel. The classic, 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 classic novel. If you read that, it's a story of two friends. Two lifelong friends. Very different friends, but two friends. Okay? That would go through anything. A relationship. It, they would go through all sorts of things together. It was a story about loyalty. A story about survival. A story about history. A story about evolvement. But at the end of it, it was a story about friends. Okay? That's a classic story. In the Western genre, that story been told a million times. Throughout history, that story of friends, loyalty, relationships, trials, tribulations, it's been told 10 billion times. But in the books, Larry McMurtry came up with a way to tell us a fresh new take on a Western. Captain Paul Augustus McCray. The relationship between the two. Jake Spoon. If you know the characters, you understand how all this came about. And then we create a mini series on CBS. Okay? The producers figured out a way with this mini series to tell this story a very different way. To where it wasn't just your standard Western, it would become the iconic movie. That everyone, some way, somehow, connected to. And that's the beauty of all this, is being able to connect. Being able to connect at some sort of way. I think when, when Simon Windsor, who was the director of this $20 million movie, that starred Robert Duvall, Tommy Lee Jones, Danny Glover, Diane Lane. I think Angelica Houston was in it. I mean, this was a really, really in-depth project. And for $20 million back then, that was quite a bit of money. But let me tell you, that, to bring that all together and to, to really... To really use creativity to to connect on a different level with that, it was just incredible. Basil Polduris was the, the composer of the music. He had to create that, that iconic music by working with his director, by working with his producer, by working with his client, CBS. To deliver that. But in the end, it was the story of friends, the story of loyalty, the story of emotion, the story of trials and tribulations and overcoming all of that in the American West that captivated our attention. For those of us who were watching, for those of us who were listening, that was the story. And that was the amazement behind that. So, Larry McMurtry... And as he's writing the book, Larry McMurtry is making this feel fresh. He's making it feel new. Simon Winsor, the director, making the story on TV and the movie feel new and fresh. The work wasn't downgraded because it was just another Western. No, it wasn't. Basil Podores the composer, was putting this all together. Giving you a fresh feel to it. making Stirring your emotions for eight hours or whatever it is. If 
you're ready to receive that information, that knowledge, that story in a fresh new way, it's going to captivate you. But it all boils down to knowing what your client wants, what your audience demands, and being able to hold their attention, right? Keep their time and make a product that's worthy of their money while it feels fresh. So people don't downgrade your product. I'm going to steal one from legendary producer and director Ron Howard. And what else? He is so right about this. The great improv teachers of all time, when they're teaching improv, there's always this part, right? And when you get to the end of it, when you think you're done, they're always like, and what else? And what's next? And you're always thinking about and, right? A N D, and. Because it's so important. The and is so vitally important to what you're doing and to the project and being able to connect with that project on that emotional level. You see, there's communication that takes place all throughout this process. And it's our job as producers and creative directors to keep that emotional, fresh idea moving constantly from start to finish. Okay? Through execution, through dialogue, through communication, through writing the ideas down on paper. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a two-hour shoot for a family or like I said, whether it's a multi-million dollar shoot for, for an advertising campaign, it doesn't matter. What matters is creating the ideal image and message and presenting it in a fresh, new way that people haven't seen before. Because in this world, it takes a lot to be marveled. It does. Man, it takes so much to be marveled in this day and age. I mean, in a world where we've seen it, we've done it, we've felt it before, you have to think of something that's going to grip somebody, it's going to grab them by the throat, right? And make them feel like they this is the first time they're seeing this, or the first time that they're feeling this emotion. With weddings, you want to take that, those photos and... Every time somebody looks at it, take them back to that one special moment in time. Take them back to where they were. Take them back to that instant in a rough patch, right? Take them back to that instant when life was good. You want to stir that emotion again. Same way when someone's planning a vacation, right? You want to take that image and steer that emotion. Present it in a fresh, new way that the audience is ready to accept. And think outside the box and create something. Create something new. Create something fresh. Create something genuine. That's what your audience is waiting for. And do that through the art of the image. Creating that image. Lighting, whether you have to bring in lights, whether you have to use your natural light, whether you have to work in the studio, whether you have to do a green screen. So many things are thought of. What kind of lens am I going to use? What is my f-stop got to be? What is my, you know, it's just so many things. Well, presenting that information in a fresh, new way. Always asking what's next and finding something traditional and making it modern. We don't want something told to us the same old way. Find something new and make it meaningful, okay? If you have to drive around looking for a location and spend hours researching shot locations, that's just what you got to do because you have to find something old and make it new, and make it meaningful, okay? This is not 
I think too many times people think a photographer is just this, you go out and you buy a camera and you learn Lightroom and you learn Photoshop and boom, it's done. Oh man. It, it, in the world that we live in, cameras are so advanced and they're so simple that it makes us feel like anybody can be a director or anybody can be a photographer or anybody can be a, photo a, 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 a creative. And the truth is we probably all can. But what sets the greats apart? What sets the very best apart? Three simple points. Connect with the project on an emotional level. That's number one. Number two, freshness is key. If it's not presented in a fresh new way, then immediately people are going to downgrade your work. Number three, and? And what else? And? Number four, find something traditional. And make it modern. That's the four keys to the art of the image, in my opinion. Some people, and feel free to drop in the comments, leave me a note. I'd be interested in hearing what you have to say. Because again, so many people these days, technology has come so far that it makes us all think, makes us all believe that we can be a producer, a photographer, a director. But what sets them greats apart? What makes those great producers, those great photographers, worthy of my attention, my time, and my money. What is that? That's the real questions you have to ask yourself. So, in my opinion, it boils down to being able to connect on an emotional level, finding something fresh, or people are going to downgrade your work. Number three, what else and where were we at and find something traditional and make it new i think it's just really that simple and if it were that simple then everyone would be great right and i'm not saying we're the greatest at that but i think we're pretty dang gum good and you know i i believe that we compel our audiences for more I believe that we keep them wanting more, and we keep them engaged, and we keep them coming back over and over again now, because we're coming up with fresh ideas. I I, I hope this has somewhat helped you. I know sometimes it seems like I'm rattling, it, and I, I probably am, but I want you to be able to get the most out of your photography experience. And out of your photography, I want to be able to help you understand a little bit more about where this is going and about what this is doing. And if it has, like, subscribe, and listen. I, I, I really hope that we're able to connect with you and work together on some key issues, uh, some key projects, and really make, make things come together and collaborate. That's really what it's all about. I'm Matt Pierce. I'm creative director and chief photographer for Route 3 Productions in Corpus Christi. If you ever want to put us to the test and see if we can pull your project off, give us a call at 361-696-5762. 361-696-5762. Again, I am Matt Pierce, Creative Director and Chief Photographer for Route 3 Productions. Thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again next time.
to add a production of Route 3 Productions in Photography, Corpus Christi, Texas. Thank you.